Let's start with Yorkshire County Cricket Club, though, who have said it will take no disciplinary action against any of its employees, players or executives following an independent report into allegations of racism by former player Azim Rafiq. Yorkshire released this statement saying... Yorkshire is pleased to announce the actions it has taken since they received the report prepared by the independent panel in August this year. The club has previously provided a summary of that report in the press, but for legal reasons has been unable to publish the report in its entirety. The club has also carried out their own internal investigation following the findings in the report, after which they are able to report that they have come to the conclusion that there is no conduct or action taken by any of its employees, players or executives that warrants disciplinary action. Well, after the news broke, you won't be surprised to hear that Rafiq tweeted. He said this, hold on a minute here. So... You accept I was the victim of racial harassment and bullying, but no one warrants disciplinary action. Sometimes you just want to scream. ECB cricket, come on now, sort this before I do. Well, a spokesperson for Rafiq said this. We note the statement released by Yorkshire County Cricket Club today. As ever, we will take time to fully respond. However... We do also note that the club has come to the conclusion that no employees, players or executives will face disciplinary action. This is despite Yorkshire County Cricket Club's admission that Azim was the victim of racial harassment and bullying. This is despite Yorkshire County Cricket Club's admission that it failed to follow its own policy and investigate allegations of racism as recently as 2018. It is inconceivable that there are no current employees who should not have been disciplined for their conduct. Yorkshire's failures continue to mount up and it is time that board members, for once, do the decent thing and resign. Well, ECB released this statement. They said, the ECB has this afternoon received a copy of the report carried out on behalf of Yorkshire CCC into the allegations made by Azim Rafiq, together with assurances from the club to cooperate fully with the ongoing regulatory process. This is a matter with many serious allegations at its heart and the ECB's regulatory team will now consider the report as part of its investigation. We anticipate that it will take time for the regulatory process to reach its conclusion, but it is imperative that this is completed thoroughly and with fairness to all involved. All is firmly in the ECB's court now, to be honest. Today's the first day they've got their report, and as at that report, and as they say, they've got to take time to digest it because these are serious allegations. I think they asked for the report. Uh, what was it, August the 18th, and this is the first time they've got it. I'm not even sure Azim himself has a full copy of the report. And it does seem very odd, and a report we were on the outfield at Old Trafford when myself and Michael Atherton and Ian Ward first saw the results of that report. What was it, Rach racial harassment and bullying, and it seems a little bit odd, uh, but it's for the ECB to decide. You know, they've got their players out here taking a knee, they've got their players in England wearing black T-shirts saying we stand against racism and they've just received a report that says that Azim Rafiq was a victim of racial harassment and bullying and the ball is now firmly in their court.